soul, and sunlight is hidden from view. Never be tempted to fret or complain. Just think of his goodness. And you know, you really sometimes have to think because that's what sunlight today we have a cloudy, somewhat rainy morning. And you know, I hear people talk about oh, you know, the weather and so forth. And I said, and I keep saying, well, if we don't have some rain, we won't have the beautiful foliage that we have here in Oregon. The flowers and all of the shrubbery would not be beautiful. So if you don't want the rain, then you better move to Arizona and you can have a dust bowl. <laughs> I've been trying to get you. I 
I came by the church at what the what time it came by, and I came by the house, and I thought I said when I didn't catch at church, I thought he must have been at the house had a lunch, and he wasn't there. And then I did this, I do that, couldn't find him, and I said to myself, "Yeah, I was. I was at the church having lunch at 12 o'clock. I was down here on my knees." <laughs> <laughs> You know, but uh, the, the thing is, we've got to learn to meditate day and night. I'm not saying you have to be at the church three times a day. That's not where I'm coming from. But I'm just talking about blessed is the man that doesn't sit and see the scornful, but his delight, he delights in being in the law. You can meditate on your job, on the word. You don't have to be in church or, you know, anywhere. Wherever you are, you can meditate on the Word. And when you start meditating on the Word, instead of on the problems and on people, you can get victory. Amen. But if we, if we focus on people, you'll never have victory. Because I have news for you. People are going to be in the earth forever. <laughs> Until Jesus comes. Until he comes to be people. <laughs> so if you're trying to get away from people, I'm sorry. That's the lost cause. But he is like a tree, and this is the, the main part. He's like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in its season. And his leaf does not wither, and whatsoever he does will prosper. So if you are like this watered tree, <laughs> you're going to bring forth fruit in your season. Uh, he said, uh, the tree in, in the Psalm 104, 16, he says, the trees of the Lord are full of sap. And so that uh, ooh, brought to my mind what he said about I put more salt in the shaker. In other words, God has sap in his tree. <laughs> the, Lord. the trees of the Lord are full of sap. So what, what is he saying? I put something in you to make you stand when the waves of affliction sweep over your soul. And when sunlight is not there, if your tree is full of sap, it's going to stand. It's not going to faint. You're not going to fall. You're not going to falter. It doesn't matter what happens. People can go against you, can be against you, and you still will stand. Because that tree is full of sap. Amen. It, it, being, being against I was preaching more about something that I did like folks were so against it. And the Lord said, they're not, it's it's not you, it's me. So don't worry about who's against what I say. It's against who does not honor what God said. So if your tree is full of sap, when the wind blows, you just blow with it. You just blow with it. But you stand. When, it, when, when, when all the wind stop, you're still there. That's right. You're still standing. Yeah. The trees of the Lord are full of sap. They, they, you know, See, trees that get rotten, it's because the sap's gone. That's right. That's right. And it's easy for them, as soon as a little wind comes, they blow away. Mm -hmm. Or they'll fall over. Or you can cut them down with no sweat. Mm -hmm. But trees that have sap in them, they just bend with that wind. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Knock them this way, they still come back up. Knock them this way, they come back up. Knock them this way, they come back up. Knock them this way. It doesn't matter which, which way you knock them. Mess with their family, mess with their finances, mess with their reputation. It doesn't matter. Mess with their health, they're going to come right back up. Because the trees of the Lord are full of sap. So you can't fail. You can't lose with what we use. God bless you. Have a blessed day.